I'll figure it out one of these days. Talk to him. You need to go get a uh, shades out. Or like. Nah, I'm good. You sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you sure? I know what I need to do.
Goods you talk about that? That's mostly for splitting wood, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not good. Yeah, that's like it. Yeah. 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 Uh, I mean, if you want to, you're welcome to try this because you, you know you can. I don't know, whatever you want to do, but if, if you can get power, from, uh, that that might give you a little bit more strength. Yeah. Because right? you got that big old. Yeah, eight pounds of force. Yeah. More than the splitting hammer. What I can do, Mike, is I'll back my truck up right here. You have to check for the water line. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And then I'll back it up. We can start loading up all these too. Get the magic for you. That seems to be working. Get that traction now. Yeah. No, it's good. Yeah, you, you, if you were really there, you could probably back 
give you a little of that trailer and check this out. Yeah. 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 I see it was it was condemned by the city or did you like you hire a, a GC? Do you need any help over here? Yeah. No, not not at the moment. Well, I appreciate it. Uh, if you yeah. see it some other time, yeah, you yeah. might. Yeah, so what, what kind of you got do you have a phone? Fifteen, you can be there outside. Fifteen, fall on the day and have to go Do you have a, a trade skill that you do? Uh, well, yeah, I'm a pharmacist. Uh, we have a lot of specials. Today, but any other day, like, um, like we might need some help cleaning the place out or something like that. Yeah. So, you, like, so, how long are you going to be around here? I'll be here once I start with it. All right. Yeah, just if you see the truck out here, just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
I'm just saying it, it, it would be obviously helpful for you. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, we're going to check that piece. We ain't gonna take no pictures, we're taking lives. <laughs> uh, see. <laughs> You're there. <laughs> well, we need to shift this part. This part. This one well, there. Right? Funny story about this trailer. Hell, it's probably as old as you. 
this when I dropped it or what? Yeah, that's a nice, of all the rocks, that's the nicest one. It yeah. is a nice rock. <laughs> level, but, yeah. I think, let's do that one. Once you get that one busted up, it looks like you're getting close to that. Yeah. We can roll that one back here. Is this loose here? This other one? Yeah, that's good to go. Yeah, that's good to go. Drop that butt. Save your back. <laughs> You could have been. I was a cross country runner. I, I, I was a fitness instructor for a long time. Okay. A long time. So we use we lose muscle mass at 33. Like that's why our skin gets wet. Uh, it started at 33. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's muscle mass. Well, that's, that's a lot of things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do we restore it? That's the thing. Uh, weight training. A lot of weight training, right? Not just anything. Anything more than what you're doing. Like, most people don't do anything, right? When's the last time you worked out then? Oh, me? Yeah. I, I don't really work out. Yeah. I just do push-ups. Yeah, do that's, that's, push -ups that's good too, gravity. Uh, yeah. yeah. But then I was dealing with some, uh, with some uh, uh, arthritis issues for a little while. Yeah, yeah. And gout. What's and it, that what was getting in my started? joints and messing with me being able to do any work. Yeah. What, what year did that start? Like how old? Uh, about two years ago. But I'm kind of getting over it. I'm on some meds now and I've stopped drinking. Yeah. Did you get stuff yeah. together? Right. I'm well, not you. completely. I'm not going to say I'm completely dry, but I went from you know, two or three or four a day to two or three a week. That's yeah. good. So I can go way back. Yeah, I feel a lot better, honestly. It's got a big difference. There we go. Whoa. All right. What do you got? Uh, I separated that big one there. So, ready for the Let me help you with that. Right. You don't have to tell me twice. <laughs> Good man. Awesome. So, I got Mike to wholesale his first house. Oh, yeah, cool, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, are you? down in the Palm Bay Malabar area as well? Yeah, I'm working on Rockledge right now. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Like, there's just a lot of opportunity over on Fisk over there. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. I like Rockledge. It's a lot better. All right. It's tough to get, like, everybody's dead. Everyone's dead. When I call, like, I'll do a house. Oh, yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. A lot of that. You got a good, uh, are you working with a good pro? You can, I'm sure you got a pro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who do you got? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's building his contact list as well. Um, I got a couple of them. I'll get you their information. Yeah. Um, I had a little house over here in Coco that was, it, it was that I structured a bad deal. And you guys, I don't know if you remember, like 10, 8, 10 years ago, there was a double murder suicide on Pine Street over there in Coco, yeah. it, which is Brevard County, but it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's Pine Street in Coco, Pine Avenue, I think, three, and I owned that. Well, I didn't own it. I had the mortgage on it. I was I was selling it to the couple, and they couldn't make the payments. And I was trying to work with them the best I could. And re I modified the mortgage, lowered the payment, and uh, they were always fighting. And it was just a mess. And now it's right on the news one day. It's like double murder, suicide. Here's the house that they own that I sold them. You know that I'm carrying the mortgage. Wow. And then and then I'm like shit. So it took me about a bunch of years to get it all figured out. And I had to hire you know an attorney to deal with some of it. I had to hire uh, the probate because the the mom. And it was interesting because the the, the, the wife shot the husband and then killed herself. Wow. Mm -hmm. So because she murdered her husband, her family lost all rights to the property, which I didn't know mm -hmm. until uh, the probate. Wow. And then. Um, the probate attorney did that, so she had to probate it through the, the husband's parents, and uh, thankfully, they didn't have any kids together, and he had no brothers or sisters, so it was just his mom and dad were the only ones we had to deal with, but they were broke, living yeah. down in Sebastian in the trailer, and, uh, you know, so I paid for the probate, I gave them money to, to, to relinquish the property, even though it was upside down, yeah. and, and because they hadn't made payments in so long, they owed me way more oh, than what the property was worth, yeah. um, so I took them through loss on it but I got it back yeah. and then I quickly flipped it it's on the market now 
Um, I flipped this to, to some buyers. They just fixed it, have it on the market, and I sold it to them for 125. I think they got it. They're selling it for like 215 or 225 or something over there. But I just, you know, I had such bad luck with the house. To me, it was jinxed, and I wasn't going to yeah. fix it. Yeah. I just wanted to get it gone. Yeah. But uh, I keep, I've got two attorneys. I have two probate attorneys I deal with. Do you deal with Will Anderson at all? No, I haven't dealt with you met, he's, he's been at the he's CFRI, CFRI meetings. Probably, he's probably. a pretty good guy. Yeah, and right. he was actually the attorney that helped me, and then he brought in the probate attorney, and the two of them got it all fixed for me and got it closed. Yeah. So that was nice. Yeah, so I would, I would work with him. And then I, I'll get you those. If you just reach out, I'll get you those permit terms. Because right. yeah. it's good to have. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how you want to handle that one. Do you want to try to lift it up that way? I mean, I, there's not much I can do. If you want to, want to get it right on the On a manual control. waiver perspective, there's no easy way. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we can throw it roll. Let's roll it. Okay. Uh, let's see. I didn't even know if, if I should just get out of your way. Yeah, know, yeah, yeah. yeah. That this, let's see if I can. That's 300 pounds? Yep, 300 pounds. <laughs> dead weight, too. Yeah. Oh, oh now, you, now you got your workout in, man. I already worked out this morning, <laughs> man. I'm, I'm doing two a days like I'm in the NFL yeah, yeah. combine or something. I think it's going to stay right there until I get home, and then I'll figure out how to get it off. <laughs> I'll yeah. probably put a rope around it. Do you have any younger trees? Yeah. yeah. Uh, he's, he's 17, but he's, yeah. he's kind of not into that kind of stuff. He's video game. I might be able to get him to help. Yeah. This one too? Yeah, my problem is you see this. I it's really okay. tongue heavy. Um, are there any other small ones we can back pull up to the front? Yeah, let's get those small ones. I think the one Mario and I can there. both lift this one from this position, right? You just, just carry it and carry it back okay. over there. Okay, if you want to try that. That'll. Okay. Try that. so close. That's good. I think that's good. That's that's much better. It's 
it's not. You might need to borrow your trailer for the yeah, yeah, rest yeah. of it. Take it. Well, yeah, I mean, I can make I a couple that. runs too. And let, if you want to take it and run it down to your place with some stuff, that's, I mean, like I said, it's your ride. Yeah, we can do that. Um, yeah, you want me to move the trailer? No. Because I, well, I put that stuff, I can't do much. I could probably get it right to here. Yeah, I think you want to just try just it. a few rolls like this. Like, yeah. Yeah, that's smaller. Yeah. I'd say I don't know. Do you have, do you do you have small trailers? You said you have a I truck. Have a truck. I have, yeah. a, I have a box truck. And this truck. Yeah. yeah sure. and, uh, the box truck is probably handy. It is. My problem with trailers. Yeah, that's what I got. Stuff in the, yeah, like, that's I <laughs> they wind up being storage oh units. God, that's the problem. It's got it's a few like, ex-girlfriends' houses in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop. Oh, God. Good <laughs> looking, I only have like, one to one. That's it. Just one to one. Yeah, yeah, one. That's okay. it. You want to try to keep that list short? Yeah, yeah very short. Yeah, that's, that's like bad. Costly and bad. Yeah, Will. Okay. Dude, you're, you're like a freaking beast, man. Yeah, for real. Holy shit. Hold the, yep, the direction. Straight. There you go. Yeah. There we go. Uh, my wife said she'll have me unload those when you get Oh, man. Yeah, that's going to be good. You got to send pictures of what you uh, do. She's going to look real comfortable when you get home. Okay. Just so you know. <laughs> yeah. She, listen, she's a hard worker. She yeah, yeah, harder yeah. than I do, but. I can't let them know. She does no, investments with you or no? Oh, yeah, yeah. And actually, she does most of the like decoration. Oh, yeah. No, I, I'm the negotiator. Yeah. But when I, like, I just got one under contract down in Melbourne off of uh, Sarno. Oh, and I did all what? the negotiation. Huh? What, what number? What number? Why? Because, like, that, no, that's a hard area for me. What do you mean, a hard area? That's a your area? <laughs> well, one of the houses there, it definitely, it needs someone to buy it. Oh, I probably not this one. I'm on Sparkman. Okay, no, no. I, this was literally on Sarno. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. And this was actually just somebody called me, and it, you know, it was a tough situation for the sellers, which, of course, most of them are, right? Right. But, um, yeah, so now that I got another contract, she takes over. She'll do all the, she works with the contractors, she does the design work, and manages the crew. I mean, the guys like her better than what me. Yeah, you know, what? I'm, well, I'm just, I can just be kind of. Hard, yeah. <laughs> you know, we all. I don't know. She's yeah. not. Yeah, well, <laughs> women, are, women have the softer touch. That's you know right. I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. That's the best part. That's why I like, uh, you know, husband and wife team. You know, we all, and I'm very grateful for that because you know I was doing a training yesterday and one of the people there, you know, she was, you know, saying that her husband doesn't really support her in the business and yeah. he's very conservative and. He doesn't want to take any of that risk, and I really feel bad for her because she really wants it, right. but her husband's not giving her support. And that's yeah, a yeah. tough place to be. Very oh, yeah. you know. And uh, I'm very lucky because you know my wife, uh, she loves it. In fact, she's we we, didn't, we haven't had a flip. We've got one out there that tree house that we're doing in Melbourne, but other than that, I don't have any other flips going right now, which yeah. is very unusual. I usually got two or three all the time, yeah. and she's just working here. I'm working. Here. I'm, working here. <laughs> I'm trying. I mean, do you want this one? No, no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> That's the biggest answer. Like, oh, no, no, no. no. I, no. I, I got, at my age, I kind of figured out what I do want and what I don't want. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I, this is just something I'm not interested. Yeah, in. yeah, yeah, that doesn't yeah. mean it's not a good deal. It's right, just right. not a deal for me. Yeah. You, know, but, you know, you ought to market it. You know, see if I see if I is it's Tuesday night. Oh, it's yeah. Tuesday the 16th. So hey, I got to take. It's it actually out. my last one. Oh, I'm it? stepping down. I'm not going to be the leader after next Who's Tuesday. Who's going to do it, Lindsey? Esteban. Esteban. Yeah. He's the new guy, right? Young guy. The young guy. Yeah. 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 He's yeah. going to be running it. I'm. I'm stepping down. You know, I. I, I run another. I, I run Coastal Florida down in St. Lucie County. Is that the one that uh, had that event? That I went yeah. To? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Um, so that I run that one. 
Yes. Right? So it's time for me just to kind of go full speed there because that's my baby. Yeah. You know, we started it four years ago. Right, right. right. And uh, me and Chris McClatchy, I yeah. mean, did you meet yeah, Chris? Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. yeah, yeah. The very first so, time, yeah. yeah, there you go. And he, he's, he's actually coming down to my first or my first meeting on January 25th. He's coming down to speak about his seen power of zero. Long. Have you ever heard his Power Zero presentation? No. no. I mean, that's powerful. We bought a lot of properties, seller financing, 0% interest. What? Oh, yeah. Yeah. We bought an apartment building off of Agora Circle, 0% financing. We bought a triplex satellite beach, 0% seller financing. Now how do you do it? Like with the negotiation stuff? That's what he's going to teach. Yeah. He's going to teach how to, how to approach it, how to sell it to a seller. And, how to make the numbers work. That's so he's doing that, and you guys are welcome. I mean, it's yeah. a long drive. No, I, know, I, I went. I went to the yeah. one. Long one drive, lot of value. Well, it's in tradition at the Kaiser University. Right. It's right there off of. Uh, I went there. The main road there, and, there. and you know, well, you know, tradition is there, of course, yeah. at Lucy. Yeah. So it's at that. It's at Kaiser on the twenty fifth, which is like two Thursdays away. I think. Yeah. Where is that? Thursday. Kaiser University of Port St. Lucie. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, there you go. It's, and it's close to Florida, right? You know, you guys show up, come as my guests for, the, for that one and visit my buddy Chris. He's flying down to speak for him. He doesn't live here anymore. No, right? he's in Cincinnati. Yeah. Well, he's actually in town now because he's over at Meekum because he's retired and he's all he does is buy cars and trade cars. He's got a little car collection going. Okay. But, uh, yeah, because a uh, funny story, uh, my, when I first uh, started getting some a uh, house, I went to their meeting at Sierra Pride. Oh, yeah. right. And that's where I met Chris Kinabachi and uh, this one of the gentlemen, Charles, for sure. Yeah. It's, that's been a few years. Yeah, a lot of years. Because he's retired a while back and he started yeah. Coastal Florida with me. We started that Rio, like, like I said, four years ago. Yeah. And then, you know, he's just like, hey, I'm moving to, to Cincinnati. He, he went through a rough divorce and then since remarried, a beautiful, fun girl. And he's just up there, you know, retired, having fun, new wife love of life yeah. and he's like hey I'm not coming back to Florida except for vacation so yeah. I bought him out of coastal Florida so I've got it 100% and, you know it, it was just tough for me trying to volunteer over here and doing that so now I'm just going to focus 100% on you know coastal Florida I would love to check it out so yeah you guys are more welcome come check it out yeah I got somebody coming to buy something from me at my house I got to make sure they haven't messaged me yet oh gotcha <laughs> Try to get this last one unless you want to try to bust this one out. I mean, that's going to take some time. Yeah, that's going to take time. Yeah. I hope to get a hold of your neighbor. Yeah, I'm going to um, get a hold of your neighbor. I already told her about your method, so she might be still out. Um, she'll she probably got you. Well, I'll, I'll leave that um, the chipper. Yeah, chipper. Yeah, I'll leave it in the truck. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to set this one. Yeah. I'll get it back to you probably when we see it. Yeah, that's fine. Or the chipping?
On it, you know. Like, yeah. you know. <laughs> <laughs> so what he does, private mortgage. Uh, so what are you looking like for first mortgage? Well, uh, well, I mean, I really wanted to. I have a good little uh, thing. Well, uh, the first one was like forty six. So something like that. Okay. Just like a thing. chasing all these different coins that they hear that they miss. Yeah. And I did it on three or four. Yeah. yeah. And then just funded all four of those. And when you're like, uh, I just know as an investor what I should invest in and what I, just what I don't want yeah, to. Stay in lane. Like everything sounds good. Yes, it does. And I was like, but this already sounded good. And I'm just keeping it. Well, you get that bright, shiny object syndrome where you just start chasing stuff because you think there's not opportunity to make money without really understanding the fundamentals and knowing how it works in with everything. Else. I mean, I, I have some big I mean, I bought it in like 2015 or 20. Nice. Yeah, so and I, will, I, and I don't look at it every day. But yeah, I'm like, yeah, it's 46, now it's back to 42. And that's my concern with it, is it just seems so erratic, right? So I didn't put a ton of money in, unfortunately. Yeah, I think it's going to go down to like 10 or 15. Do you really? Yeah, yeah. But that's when I'm going to go heavy in on it. Yeah, gotcha. So I can disappear. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Everybody's got their theories. I, I mean, I hear a lot of people. I think it's going to be $80,000. I, th I think the value of it in 24 is where my trajectory is, oh, right? Okay. Okay. Well, yeah. See, I don't, at 55 years old, I don't have a 20 year time frame. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's but it's, it's you're out of that loop right there. Like right, currently, like, so I'm getting into yeah. the real estate space because uh -huh. right now cryptocurrency is the bulk, like 72% of my network. Gotcha. Right? So, yeah, that's a lot. Of I, yeah, I know. And then, yeah. but I do very well. Um, I don't have any stress because I've been in it since 2017, you know, and then so like I bought six Bitcoin at $5,000. Right? So then, and yeah. so I don't even, like I still buy Bitcoin yeah. and then I do stuff like I flip stuff on Facebook Marketplace and then what I do is like I tell people I accept Bitcoin if you have it, right? And then I have like a strategy that I do behind that. And so 
the stuff like I find maybe in clips and houses and stuff, put it in my storage unit, flip it, and then put it in the Bitcoin, leave it for my kids. Like, so that's my idea. I'm looking at 2040 because I'm giving that to my kid. Perfect. And 2040. And then I have it. And then I've made a lot of money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I still haven't invested because uh, I don't know. You know? Yeah. Well, there's going to be a point. We have to, like, the thing is, when I, like, I haven't pushed it on you either, have I? No, no, no. He doesn't push it. When I say I'm going all in, then I'd be pushy. And I'm like, listen, now is the time. I was like, I've been in it for six years. If you want a good return on your investment, yeah. now is the time to do it. And you're, you understand some of the dynamics better than a lot of people because you've been in it longer than most people. Yeah, yeah. I like you. Like, so, like, just for instance, like a year ago, it was $15,000. Right, exactly. Right? And now yeah. it's, what, 47, that's right, 45. That's a year ago, 15. And then, so, like, if you're yeah. someone who wants to flip, like, it's the greatest performing asset of, a, like, of any class, investment class, yeah. like commodity, futures, real estate. It's the greatest performing asset. Like, if you would have put, like, $100,000 in, you would have made $161,000, so 161%. Oh, yeah. yeah, and I'm actually thinking about selling that. I have a bunch of stocks that just got my yearly notices, and I'm up like 40 percent in many of my stocks. And, and I, you know, a lot of people they, they sell their you know they sell their winners and keep the losers, but at the same time, I really think that that's a little hard to be realistic. I just not interested in the I was not interested in this. Great. Real estate is great, but when a hurricane comes bearing down on you and everything you own is in the cone of uncertainty, it kind of wears on you a little bit. Yeah. Right? So we've, we've diversified, we've got some properties out of state now, and just doing a few different things. But that concentration was important for us because we knew it, we understood it, and that's how we could make a big bulk of money, yeah. right? Build a lot of equity. But now it's the time for us to kind of you know, diversify and kind of settle down. I mean, I love working, right? Here we are, here moving rock, and I, I you know, still love doing all this kind of stuff. Yeah. I just don't want to have to move the sense that I'm not as adventurous as I once was. Yeah. That's why it's easy for me to say, no, I'm, 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 I would have taken this deal. You know, Are you 55 then? Not 55. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, that's, I plan to be like you when I'm 55. <laughs> like, I'm just not interested in any of this stuff. Yeah. I did all that risky stuff. <laughs> yeah. well, I, I love work, I love yeah, yeah, money, yeah. I love helping people. It's just fun. Very, uh, for gold thing, and I'm like, 
she's like, hey, I don't wear any of that stuff. They sell it. So you know, I sold a few thousand dollars worth of gold one time just to yeah. make some of the, the, the uh, tax payments yeah. because the, the rents weren't coming in. But I knew that if I was holding everything, we'd eventually come through, which how, we did. How, how did you? Because like, I was driving a Honda Odyssey minivan that I bought for $1,500 from a doctor. Oh, your car doesn't mean anything. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> your car doesn't well, mean anything. No, I, I'm just saying, I mean, I, I, you're right. Yeah. And I wasn't too proud. I mean, I drove around a Honda Odyssey with a rack on the roof, and it was it was great for business because yeah. you could haul anything. Yeah, exactly. You know, and I had yeah. a tow hitch on it, so I could tow this train over there, too. Yeah. It wasn't my proudest moment, but, you know, you do what you have to do. Yeah. You, know? you just do what you have to do, and it makes you appreciate it. When, when you get the stuff. That's right. Yeah. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. You must, it must have been nerve wracking because I have one property that I was renting and I was almost like almost no cash flow. Yeah, yeah. And I was just like, man. And then I talked to one of my guys that's been in the game for a long time. It's like, oh, well, that happens. It does. Yeah. It does. You just <laughs> I was like, so you're stomaching. You know? well, you just learn to, yeah, you just learn to, you have to look longer range. Yeah. Right. And, and like I was telling everybody yesterday in the class, the investors, I said, you know, we all overestimate what we can do in a year and really underestimate what we can do in 10 years. So if you can focus on that long range vision and don't worry about yeah, yeah, the day to yeah. day, because I mean, seriously, think yeah, about it, right? Yeah, that's so and that's true. not even my words, that's, uh, no, no, that's, that's one of the big rules that said that years ago and I picked up on it. But it's really true because, you know, a lot of people look at this as like a sprint. You know, I gotta yeah. make money real quick. I'm gonna get in and out and make a ton of money and retire rich in a year. And it, 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 it does it happen? It happens, but not very often. I'm, I'm just an average intelligence guy. I mean, I'm no you know, crazy brain guy. Like, what took you four years to get to where I was right? in the crypto market? Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, but, yeah, but yeah. you saw something and you stuck with it, yeah. you know, and, and you learned it. And yeah. that's what it's about. You've got to learn your craft. You have to be a professional, right, and understand what's going on. I'm talking about compassion. You know, it's one of those things where you just have to. So I'm, not many people are. I'm with someone who finds value in Grant Cardone's words, you know? That he says yeah. some stuff. Like he's, he does. He's, he's, a little, he's a little cocky and arrogant, but you know, most guys who have that kind of money, yeah, have that, that's his marketing. He, he deserves it. That yeah. is his marketing. That's his, marketing, right. that's his marketing. Is that I want to be a storm in your side. Yeah. That you yeah. see, I annoy you, but you're still talking about me. And that's <laughs> even no news. Yeah. No news is like still good news. That's like, our bad, like, bad all news is good for us. Yeah. 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 He's that guy. But I read his I book and I learned nothing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I got the book for free, so I didn't care. But I was just like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I like sell or be sold. The book that he has is sell or be sold, yeah. which means that you should be selling something to someone. You always need to be or, selling something or, to someone. Like yeah, right? or you're being sold something. Well, and, and you have to be conscientious of that because a lot of times we are being sold. A lot of times I want to be sold. I do too. That's part of it, like with the Investor Association. What I recognize is there are a certain element of people who come in and they want to invest money in education and training. Some of them are like, nah, I'm not going to cheap skate, it's not going to pay for anything. But I do know there's some that will, and I was one of those guys. And even now, if I if there's something I don't know, I want to find somebody who knows it, does it well. I don't want to pay them for it, yeah. right? Yeah. And I want to pay them as, as well as I can because I want to show them respect for what they know, yeah. and also to build that relationship. And I think you know you can yeah. either buy your way in by paying money, or buy your way in by doing the work. Yeah. And of course, at my age, if I can shortcut that by writing a check, I would love <laughs> to do that. Oh, I gotta know what you. I, I gotta know what he he needs to know. So I what I need to know? Yeah, what do you need to know? There's so things I don't even know that I don't know that I need to know. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, well, I mean, honestly, that's the truth. And, and yeah, see, all similar mindsets. He's quick. Crazy. He's quick on it. Yeah, no, but that's like because that. we're, yeah. we're all kind of we have very similar philosophy to yeah. life, right? Yeah. At the end of the day, we're entrepreneurs. And we realize we have to make money, but then we realize that we want to take our money and have our money. Made. Like to put our money to work. It's not that we're lazy, yeah. it's just we want to be able to magnify that effect yeah. in our lives. Yeah. Right? Because, I mean, you know, obviously, you guys aren't lazy, right? I'm selling more than I'm eating crops. Yeah. You know? Um, and, and I've done it before. I, I try to avoid it. But I can't. <laughs> but this was a great opportunity, right? Because yeah. I think I told you my story. Because e every rock in my backyard has a story. Yeah. Some came from this job, some come from that job, whatever. It's like, okay. That's this property, that's that. My buddy Chris, when he had a house on the river in Melbourne, he had uh, he built an addition and added to the land to blast out rock immediately because that's all solid cocaine up there. And he had this big pile of cocaine in his front yard. And he's like, yeah, you take as much as you want. Yeah. So we loaded up rock, and that's a part of my rock wall. Yeah, that's his rock. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so that it's just that. I mean, yeah, kind of yeah. sentimental. But yeah. I do, I also collect. It's kind of like, 
pretty much every flip, I have something like a momentum. Yeah, that's a good. I like that. I, I started. I'm not gonna lie. I started doing the. Especially for me when I flip houses, that money just winds up going into the business and going here and going there. And I can't specifically look at this account or yeah, that money, account yeah, or this property yeah. and say that money from that flip is in there. But when I've got something oh, physical, yeah. it's just kind of nice. You remember it. And then you collect, yeah, I've got to be careful because when you flip as many as I have, you know, that collection gets big. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right. Make sure so they're small. Yeah, small things. <laughs> but it, it is, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. And I, I've loved that part of the business. TNT Fireworks. You've heard of TNT yeah, Fireworks yeah, yeah. and all the grocery stores and stuff. I worked in that company. Uh -huh. And I ran the, they, they used to have fireworks tents. And right. They used yeah, to run all those tents. Like at the Walmarts and yep, stuff. Yep, and yep. over on Merritt Island in the bowling alley. That was me, Port St. John, up on US 1. That was my tent. I was at all the like, Melbourne Walmarts. I was in Titusville. I, mean, I, I probably had 10 or 15 of those tents in Clark County, but then I was in Volusia, down to Palm Beach County, and all of you, et cetera. But I worked for the yeah. you know, and it was like very slow trickle down. Mm -hmm. Very yeah. slow. Very slow, very small yeah. trickle down. Yeah, so I realized pretty quickly that they had three turbo clock planes, because that's the Anderson family, and then Brooks and Morgan, the tree flew, and the baseball cards, and they had three sporting boots, and the fancy ones on there. It was pretty cool. None of that was a trick. No, no, nowhere close. Right? Nowhere close. So I knew if I was going to make my millions, it was up to me to make it happen. Yeah. So I set a goal to get out of that as quickly as I could. I feel like this would be like a video, like a <laughs> podcast. Where's your ca camera at? <laughs> I, I bought a book at a garage sale for like two bucks up in North Carolina called Creating Wealth by Robert Allen. And I read that book. Because I was looking for a way to just kind of do my own. It's an old book. Oh yeah, it's, it's like the 80s. It's out of print now. I, 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 I go to thrift stores and I, you I snap yeah, it. You probably it. find it on Amazon, a used copy. Of it. It's Creating Wealth, Robert Allen. And uh, the, 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 the concept was very simple. Uh, over, over 10 years, buy 20 houses. And at the end of the 10 years, you sell 10, pay off the other 10. Now you have 10 free and clear houses and you can retire on seven or five or six or eight thousand dollars a month income on 10 free and clear houses. That was the that was the plan. That used to sound crazy to me and it doesn't sound I don't think you know, that's not that hard to do. I, I mean look years. look how many houses we've been in, right? Exactly. So, Imagine so this like yeah. That was 1998 yeah. and it was buy two for 10 years, have 20, sell 10, and keep them. Like hell, I can do that. Yeah. Yeah. Two houses a year, that's not a big deal. Yeah. So we got a transfer from North Carolina to TNT down here because this is where our families were. Monica's from Orlando. She was born in Sanford. And my parents were from the West Palm Beach area. So we settled in Clark County so that we were closer to her family because you know, we were her parents. Raise our kids because we had a lot of money in 97. So we moved back down here, got the fireworks job, and said, okay, we're going to buy two here for 10 years. We had a 10 year plan to retire. It was, that, it was that, I mean, it wasn't that complicated. That's a simple that. formula. That, but but yeah, the problem was, I didn't have any money from my day job to buy the down payment, so I would buy a flip, do the flip, and then use that money that's as a down payment for yeah. one of the two flip, or one of the two down flips. But then what happened at the time, it, 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 it got better than that. I think we did a lot more than two in a year. And we were seven years in, and had about 20 doors in seven years. But I didn't need to sell, so I just quit my job. So I retired like three years early because I was 30. So it's like, okay, I'm going to work for 10 years, retire at 40, and have enough income to pay the bills. So of course, I, 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 yeah, I did, which was 2005, but then the market went to shit. But I was like, oh, I'm not giving this up because this is my golden right, right, right. And I can't let go of these properties. i got to survive this storm because you know, they say put money away for a rainy day because it's going to rain. And it did rain, but I didn't expect it to rain. <laughs> four years, I could have maybe one or two years, because right? right. I was ignorant. But we survived. And then, we, and then when it all ended, we started talking about it. And now it's just a big game. It's a long game. But I, 
it's just not right here by your place. I bought a, uh, I bought myself a can of entertainment. Did you? To take out to my house. Oh, nice. So right. You're riding around for real. Yeah. No, did you absolutely. see what he did over there? That's awesome. Yeah, you know, it's funny because I looked <laughs> and tried to buy those yellow duplexes. Yeah. I couldn't. I, I couldn't. I didn't have enough money. Yeah. Because at that point, I'd already put my gig out and I could have put together the money to buy it. Because I saw the value. You know, I had it and I just I couldn't put together the money. Yeah. But I, I, I'm not surprised. Okay. Crazy, crazy. The work, I mean, I guess what they're trying to do is bring the boat shop. Because they've got the boat shop down there. They're bringing the boat shop to be all in one spot. That's what they're doing. And what you know, it's Malibu Mo's what he owns all Yeah, that's what I heard. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Smart. Is that what happens though? You yeah. know, you do you one and you do another. Yeah, you another. just keep going at it. Yeah. yeah. I can't stop saying smart because it's such a good thing. Listen, there's a lot of people who know what to do. Yeah, they never do but it. But not a lot of them actually do it. Yeah, exactly. And that's why yesterday we did that training and we spent the first three hours of the day from nine to noon talking about mindset. Mm -hmm. Right? Because I'm really convinced at this point it's 100% about mindset. Yeah. You know, oh, we're get, finally uh, getting some video. You, you shoot some video? <laughs> I, I was videoing the whole time. This oh, whole thing was live. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're live on Facebook, <laughs> man. He's, he's here. He's, he's, a, he's amazing knowledge, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what I could say is that when I went down to Sierra Parai, y'all yes. made me feel welcome. Well, of course. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, I was the only young little kid there. <laughs> young <laughs> so little I, kid. I, I, yeah, I had my <laughs> long locks. And, and I, was, I was really green. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I, I just looked at it and I was like, well, this, you know, this is a nice group, man. I really, I really appreciate it. Well, yeah, it's, it's a good group. And I, I think that yeah, I got my start with CFRI, and I was green, and yeah. I was back in uh, 98, yeah, yeah. and I was welcomed in by yeah. a bunch of people. In fact, one of my mentors that helped me buy my first mobile home park just re randomly reached out last week, oh, nice. and he's 80, yeah, yeah. and we're doing, you know, talking about business and stuff together, and he goes, hey, you know, I got a mobile home park I want to sell, and I need to carry financing. I don't want to take my capital gains. Yeah, Do you no. want to buy another mobile home park? I'm like, yeah. Why not? Right, right. So we're meeting next week. Oh, nice, week nice. Where is it home park. It's where? up in northern Vermont County. Nice, yeah. nice. If we're live, I can't say where. No, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Keep shooting. Yeah. Anyway, he was just really good at it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It, 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 it's just yeah. a lot of fun because yeah. you, you build these the relationships, relationships and that's really what it's about. Yeah. And, and if you treat it, you know, looking at that, like I said, that long term, yeah. you know, looking long distance the into it. ten years. Yeah, and I think, that's where the money comes because then business. So basically, you're telling me to take my time. No, well, I'm, I'm saying okay. no. I'm, I'm saying work like, you know, tomorrow won't come. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then don't have that expectation that you're gonna make it immediately. Right. Because right. then what happens is a lot of people they just quit because they it doesn't come as quickly as they expect it to. Right. Yeah. And that's where I was. I was six or seven years into it, and I was at an event. And I was talking with one of the gurus up on the stage, an international guy, and his wife was behind the table, and I was volunteering, and, and I was helping her with the product and everything because they were selling product. And she started asking me questions about what I was doing and my investments. And I kind of just, you know, was real honest and said, you know, I've been doing this almost seven years, and I've just not seen the results that I expected. Right? And she said, just hang tight. You know, you're doing the right things. Just stay focused. My husband and I were there. Give it another couple of years because you're doing the right things yeah, and you're yeah. going to see changes. And she was 100% correct. Right. right. So it, it's at those times that you find people who've been there yeah. and understand and say, hey, you're good because I see you're doing the right things. Just have some more faith right? yeah. and stick with it. So that was great. And that's the kind of thing. So when I, I was fortunate to have that, yeah. got my mentor you know, in, in different places. And I think that, so you pay it forward. Yeah. And then you be that same person for somebody, somebody else, else. Yeah. that's coming up. And, and because the world doesn't talk our language, no, no. you know they really don't, and a lot of people don't understand it. Yeah. And, and for me, there were a lot of people around me when we first started that thought we were on the wrong path. And they why were would all, you quit your job? It's well, yeah, don't job. quit your job. Why, you own an apartment building. Why don't you drive in a, a Lamborghini or Ferrari? You <laughs> because you're rich. Why yeah. are you driving that Honda Odyssey? Well, yeah. we have a plan. Yeah. Not everybody's yeah. going to understand that, but they don't need to understand it. But you have to have enough strength and commitment that you can withstand that. 
until you get to a point where then it doesn't matter. Delayed gratification. It is, but it is delayed yeah. gratification, and you have to set that goal, and you have to know that it's going to take some time to get there. Yeah. And I've just seen a lot of people give up on themselves. Yeah. And that's, that's the that's tragedy. The tragedy right there. Because this isn't, it, it can work for anybody. Mm -hmm. Really, I think it mm -hmm. can work for anybody. You don't need to be a, a, a brain surgeon right. to figure this business out. Right. You just have to have a commitment and stick with it. That's it. And when you make a mistake, you learn from it and you move on. Yeah. So yeah. it's a lot of fun. And then you I find yourself that. out here on a Sunday morning moving rocks. Yeah. <laughs> he brought his wife out. I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's it too. You have to have fun. Yeah. Because yeah. it is a journey, so enjoy the journey. And yeah. if you're not enjoying the journey, change the journey. Yeah. yeah. But it's all good. Yeah. All right. So what's what's what do you like more to rocks? read? What's what's what do you like to read? What's uh, your stuff that you read? Oh my goodness. I read a lot. I, I'm now getting more into podcasts. Yeah. yeah. And I, I use uh, YouTube University. Yeah, yep. I call it YouTube. Yeah, University. I love YouTube. University. And I finally got off of being such a cheapskate, and now I'm paying for YouTube Premium, oh, yeah. which is I don't even know a few bucks a month, so I don't have any ads anymore. Oh, that's a good. And thing, that yeah. was life changing. Now yeah. you have to fast that's forward, like, you skip ads, skip right. ads, skip ads. Or getting old, yeah. I'm mean, getting all the ads. Yeah, I'm done with that. So yeah, I'm like, why did I not do this? Sooner? Yeah, you know, yeah. so still making mistakes. It's like, why are you cheaping out? Right. Right. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Get past the ads, but YouTube. And it's twelve dollars. Something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, I, there's a ton of books. Yeah. I mean, gosh, I could sit here and, I, I, wow, what I would say, all of the Kiyosaki old stuff. Yeah. New Kiyosaki. New Kiyosaki. It's it's he got divorced because it's so outrageous. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just a little bit, and I can see where that could happen. That he's just a little out there, but that stuff was really worthwhile you do have to be careful because i think a lot of books today are business cards yeah marketing yeah 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 that's why i go back to like pete fortunato yeah john Schaub. i got a russ whitney book that yeah, i like well, yeah he got himself in trouble but there's some good stuff there too. <laughs> robert allen he got himself in trouble yeah um, what you said pete uh pete fortunato he's i think he's in god he's old as the hills too he's got to be in his 80s now he's, and he, he we had him at cfri 10 years ago and he's Wait, is he the tax booth guy? No, no, okay. he, no. He, he's a creative financing guy. Okay. He's right. How he's Fortunato. 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 I don't even know if that's his real name. I think it is. But just kind of an interesting situation there. But <laughs> John Schaub. John Schaub. And uh, Dan Kennedy. These are like some of the old school. Yeah, people. Dan uh, Kennedy is the original like marketing guy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. So Russell you know, Brunson a, bought his likeness. Who did? A guy, a, a guy named Russell Brunson. Interesting. Yeah, and now he's uh, like the linchpin is what Dan, yeah. Dan Kennedy well, was. You know, all that stuff in yeah. old school comes back around again. You know, just like anything that's classic comes back. It's like, look, Stanley Cups are back. I have you a. Heard that? You know, the yeah. Stanley Mugs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that's like yeah. the rage. Yeah, 1918. Something like that. It was exactly. when it came out, yeah. A lot of those classic things come back, and I think the classic speakers, if you can find their content, a lot of those things ring true. Yeah. You know, you're not listening to it on cassettes or CDs anymore. But there's a lot of that. And I have a huge library of that stuff yeah. uh, over the years. So, yeah, hey, anytime you I, I have an office in Melbourne, yeah. reach out, come in there. I have a whole library of all these cool programs from lots of speakers. I'd love to borrow something if you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Let's get some rock. Let's get some rock. Let's get some rock going. <laughs> Yeah, we made it. Perfect. That's great. Hey, 
I gotta do more content. See, now you, you yeah, gotta yeah. be careful. I can't have pictures of me out there working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. everybody's gonna think that it's a regular thing. They can call you to do that. No. Yeah, no, I won't do it. Exactly. I won't do it to you very often. This is a limited, <laughs> limited edition. Limited edition. Limited time engagement or something. Right. Right. Contractors, if they see you working, they know not to take advantage of you. Well, but I, <laughs> no, that's true. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's the thing, too, right? You know, with the guys, I. I, I will jump in there and do things, and I know how to do a lot of things. That doesn't mean I want to do them. Yeah. I know how to do them, so I know when they're bullshit. Oh, yeah. I say, well, this is going to be a five-hour job. I'm like, no, it's no, a two-hour job. Exactly. <laughs> I can do it in three, and I haven't done it in ten years. Right. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't push I, I mean, it's just like when uh, you know they quote these ridiculous prices yeah. and everyone, you know, and I'm like, yeah. dude, I would do this an hour and a half. Yeah. Exactly. And that's yeah. it. Yeah. Right? Like I know yeah. how to use a sawzall. I know how to break down the stuff. I know how to yeah. Yeah. Don't waste my time. Yeah. And, you know, a lot of these guys, they don't know how to demo right. right. You know, they're not cutting right. at the edge of a two like this one? They're making mess. Exactly. I think I, I don't want to push my luck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're going up the pathway, right? Oh, yeah. I'm going over the bridge. Woo. So uh, it, it's, it's this axle on this trailer. This thing is um, it's a 1993 Pontiac Sunfire. Yeah. Is this axle. So this yeah. axle's. That this the guy made at homebrew. Oh my god! And great. I needed to know that because finding these these rims they're real, they're with real, that lug yeah. pattern, it's tough. It's different. It's much different because it's the front axle. I mean, excuse me, it's the rear axle because that Pontiac Sunfire was a front wheel drive car, right? So this is the rear axle on yeah. the one that was junk. Yeah. So that axle was a ninety three. That's been around a long time. Yeah. You know, and I've replaced this wood myself. I don't know, three or four or five times. Been good, yeah, that's for sure. Do you want me to? Um, are you gonna hang out for a while and be busting some more? I'm gonna a bust a little bit more, and then uh, I know you guys are good and whatnot. Okay, like, well, why don't you just reach out to me? If you I'll, think I'll you're gonna have another load of rock today, yeah. I can come back and do that, you know, especially a lot of the little stuff. Yeah. Um, if you want, yeah, just that's fine. I'll let you do something else. And uh, we, can, we can get pretty much all of it out of here once it's done. Okay, obviously. Take what you want. Yeah, I don't, I don't really want that much of anything, okay. but I just take a few for uh, right. you know the garden. Well, I'll see. You, maybe I'll see you Tuesday at C4I. Oh, test, test that to me. Yeah. Not, yeah, test it to me. Okay. It's in, you know that. the Beepo Brady's there in Melbourne. In Melbourne? Yeah. I thought they closed that one. Is that the one off the dairy? No, not off there. The Wickham Road? It's the one on Wickham. Oh, okay. You know, oh, yeah, oh, yeah I went there. Right yeah. there by Burger King. Yeah. Yeah, it's just like Lake Washington or something like that. Yes, it's a problem. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So there, you know, it's it's gonna be my my last one there. Okay. And I'm gonna yeah. be introduced to Esteban as the okay. as the new leader okay. taking over. I'll probably show up from time to time. Yeah. Well, yeah. oh, you always show up at you know. Yeah. Well, you know, it's crazy that I've been volunteering at Sam for like 25 years. Oh, I didn't know. That. Oh, yeah. Wow. Isn't that, that crazy? Wow. So it's kind of kind of like that. Yeah. Mike, great to meet you. Yeah. Appreciate you today. Hopefully, we'll see you next week. Uh, he has to, you have to go. Yeah, yeah. I'm, no, I'm it's definitely going. I appreciate you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> call me back and we'll come out and get some more of this. All right, so I'm going to be attached to your hip. Thank you for it. Oh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> You're not the tech guy, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not the tech guy. I'm just trying to break and mix some of this stuff up. Yeah, see, that's why I got that. I didn't even need the...